Gerard and I set up our Neatboard 50 on the adaptive floor stand. Very, very easy to do. Just two people lift it on and clip it in. So now I'm gonna take you through the setup process to get this set up as a Microsoft Teams Rooms device. So let's go through the process. All I have to do is start by picking my language. I'm gonna do English. Now I'm gonna hook it up to the Wi-Fi. Obviously you can hook this device up to ethernet as well, but if you wanna use Wi-Fi, you can do that. So I'm gonna choose my Wi-Fi network put in my super secret Wi-Fi password. Uh, please use more secure passwords than that. And here we go. So now it's getting connected. It'll tell us when we've got an internet connection and we're all set. So I'm gonna hit continue. Time zone, we're in California, so I'm gonna choose Los Angeles. That time is correct. I can change it to 24 hour time if I'd rather. Now I'm prompted to register the device to Neat Pulse. I've got my laptop here and I've got Pulse open up, and I've already created a room instance in Pulse for this device. We're calling it the Voyager Room. So now all I have to do is find my enrollment code in my Pulse interface here and put that in to register it. There we go, and now it's enrolling in Pulse. Now I'll be able to manage it uh, very, uh, very completely within the Pulse tool. All right. And there we go. Hit continue. Uh, now it asks you if you want to opt in or opt out of sharing analytics uh, data with Neat. This is very anonymized, um, non-identifiable information. Um, we really appreciate it if you opt into this so we can help make the products better for you. Um, but that's up to you whether you want to opt in or not. I'm going to set this up as a Microsoft Teams room. So I'm going to choose Microsoft Teams. Continue. All right, and now we are all set. So I'm just gonna go ahead and launch Microsoft Teams. The Microsoft Teams software will update on the device if there's an update available. And there we are, and now we're in Microsoft Teams. Now, with Microsoft Teams, you also have to sign into a Microsoft Teams Rooms account. So you might need to work with your Microsoft Teams administrator to get the right username and password information to do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab my laptop again, and I'm gonna go ahead and get this signed up. All right, so we're all set up. We've got the Neatboard 50 signed into Microsoft Teams, and it's all set to go to make Microsoft Teams calls. You can schedule it for Teams meetings, do digital whiteboarding, everything you need to do uh, in that Teams call. So again, just make sure that you're connecting with your uh, Microsoft Teams administrator so you have the correct account information to sign this in once it's set up. But the whole process just takes a few minutes and you're ready to go.